Hello everybody, my name is Nick and today I'm gonna to be talking about Apple, Apple products, specifically the new Apple TV 4K. So we recently, now recently, during the pandemic, we cut the cord. I'm so tired of like all these channels we didn't watch. And we used to watch cable like, I think a lot. And we have parents around, they're always here to watch cable and um, I don't miss it at all. I think YouTube TV is what we signed up for and I love it. It, it makes cable feel so antiquated, just in my opinion. But anyway. So we cut the cord, so um, I have an Apple TV, actually I had two of them of the last version, but one got blown out by lightning or whatever it's called, um, and it does not work anymore, so this is going to go in the main room now, and I'm excited about this for one reason, and we'll get to that, but it's going to be this area right here. So here's your box, it, 4K obviously, it does come in 32 or 64, I think it's 179 bucks or 199 bucks, it's only $20 difference, but... I went with the lower one just because I don't play games on my Apple TV. I just pretty much use it for streaming and Netflix and all that stuff. So here's some of the cool things you can get. This thing does connect to your AirPlay, which is kind of cool. And your HomePod, that's something different. So you could pair it for, you know, you could put a couple of HomePods behind you and uh, have wireless surround sound. So that's cool. And I like this feature too, because we have a kid, a kid, Luca, he's four years old. But here you can connect two different AirPods at the same time to your um Apple 4K TV, so you don't wake anybody. Let's get to the unboxing here. And there are some cool features I'll get to in a little bit. Oh, and I brought, this is the previous version of the Apple TV. I kind of just brought it for comparison's sake. And we can't do an Apple video without Steve and the iPhone 1. There it is. Size next to the controller of the Apple TV. It's funny. It's crazy how small it is. All right, so let's get to it. Here's your Apple TV. Let's see, compared to the size of the previous one, identical. I didn't think it was gonna be identical, but it is identical. Um, the back is gonna have the same ports. You can pull this off. Let's... That's cool, it's a little more of a stickier substance. There's your bottom. This didn't have, yeah, it did have the vent, so same thing. And in the back, you have your same three ports, your ethernet, your HDMI, and your power, so. Um, besides that, you get your remote. You got a USB to USB, um, no, I'm sorry, USB to a lightning cable. I guess it's a charge to remote. I love Apple, but I wish they would just go complete to, completely to a USB-C. It's so annoying having two different cables. Anyway, this is your power cable, nothing exciting. Let's get all this out of the way. Blabbing on. All right, here you're gonna have your sure stickers. Any stickers? Oh, that's not one sticker. So this is what I've heard is the reason you should upgrade. So this, first of all, the Apple, um, the new Apple TV. It has the new A12 Bionic chip in it, which is their latest and greatest. It's supposed to be great. Um, you know, faster, smoother performance. This also has Dolby Atmos for the first time. It has HDR2. Uh, 4K, so this is going to give you the latest and greatest of streaming, you know, when you can find that um, media available. It also has a cool calibration. You can uh, calibrate your TV with your phone. So that's kind of a cool thing. You can literally hold up your phone to the screen um, with the Apple TV and it'll calibrate your settings and properly. So real quick, here's the differences in the remote. This thing, it definitely feels like a, a more substantial. This thing is so light, it's almost hard to hold it. I never know which way. I mean, I know that goes forward, but we always like sit there and mix them up and you hit it accidentally. And I've read that this is one of the people hate this uh, design from that Apple did, like one of their most hated products. So um, here's the new one. And this thing is really cool. It's back to the old iPod touch days where you kind of scroll the wheel to do precise rewind and fast forward this whole thing is a touch screen as well as a button so it literally is like a mouse you know it's different swipe controls for the first time they have an on off button which is cool you just push that and everything will turn off your tv your apple tv all that good stuff your home button your play rewind pause mute button which did not have before i mean how annoying was that no mute button sorry if i'm talking fast here um so this thing is cool i really like it and i think this is going to be good we're going to have to get a little cover for it and there are aftermarket remotes you can buy, like with numbers, because honestly, remotes like do two futuristic ones, they don't work well. Like you need that feel, you need that tactile feel. I don't know, at least I do. When you're just in the dark and you're not looking, you just want to touch. There's the lightning to charge this thing, two little screw holes right there. Definitely feels much more substantial. And there's a new Apple 
4K TV. Again, I think it's pretty cool. You can um, adjust the color balance um, with your iPhone. Of course, it has all the latest streaming, video games, all that good stuff. Um, I told you about most of the features. I mean, again, we have two of these now we're going to use throughout the house. I would hope that they'd release a smaller one or a light version or something that you can like slip behind a TV that you have hanging on the wall. But maybe in the future they'll do that. So anyway, it's just a quick unboxing video. Here it is compared to the, new, the iPhone 1. So there's the latest and greatest. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, I have also pre-ordered the new Tesla Model X. So if that's something you're interested, keep an eye on. It might take who knows how long, three, four months. But when it does, I'll be sure to give a great review. I know you guys enjoy it. I'm going to go play with this thing for now and see what happens. Hope you guys have a great one. See ya.